Well, joining us for this very special conversation is our Ayappan from Clear Trip. Thank you so much for joining us today on the Daily Dispatch. I want to talk to you a little bit about the demand scenario. Um, you know, we've seen the festive period play out. We've seen Diwali, uh, and, and we've seen the kind of travel that has been happening. People have been traveling all across the country and the world. Um, and we're staring at summer holidays coming up with the New Year's and Christmas weekends just around the corner. Uh, from your perspective at Clear Trip, how do things? Uh, stand at this point in time because we are also faced by the omicron variant which is posing some sort of uncertainty as far as travel plans are concerned uh, firstly thanks priyanka for having me on the show uh, very relevant question at least in these times where uh, everything is ambiguous at this point of time right maybe before specifically getting into the question about the demand that's existing around the new year and christmas taking a little step back around uh, the entire pandemic piece i think we all know uh, what the travel industry has gone through right from airline to the hotels to the ota players right and the governments have been changing the norms and uh, rules and uh, the norms that needs to be kept at par with the with the way the pandemic has been evolving as well and uh, amongst all of this the consumer needs have been evolving as well um, you know very clearly that people the way they were planning for travel and how they used to travel um have completely changed now right and uh, with, with the first wave and the second wave now with the omicron variant coming around um people have been like very cautious about like uh, why they want to venture out um so specifically if you look at it uh, in the last 30 to 45 days i think uh, things have been fairly actually smooth in fact if you look at it just 30 days back uh, the 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 flying numbers the dgca numbers was almost 85% on domestic travel of course international travel i didn't uh, uh, taken off completely yet but uh, domestic travel was like back to 85% of the pre covid levels which is like amazing numbers right i mean nobody expected that it will bounce back so soon so along with that if you look at it people started traveling the new year and christmas vacations as well 30 days back uh, but now suddenly with this omnicon thing uh, people are again taking a step back they are figuring out what needs to be done so few things that we have done as a player as well uh, one is very clearly on the keeping the modification options live for the customer right whether it's flexi flight or easy cancel so these two are very very powerful constructs that we have launched uh, uh, clear trip as an organization so what we uh, do uh, through these two constructs is that we give option to customers to cancel till the end date right and we also give the option to modify the flight to any other airline so these two are like very relevant for these needs so since um, the omnica on started especially with the south african news and the uk news uh, continuing to prevail in the country the uh, booking that used to happen 30 days in advance 45 days in advance have taken a huge hit but the travel which are which needs to happen in the next 7 to 10 days actually it doesn't plateau at all so very clearly shows that people want to travel they are not very scared but they are scared if the flights will get cancelled the hotel booking will get cancelled so it's more around the the need set remaining the same to travel but how do i travel whether i'm safe in the journey is what largely the concerns around right and the second piece is that the norms have been changing as well uh, in few airports they are checking for the rt pcrs in few airports they are not checking about it so what do they need to people what what do people need to exactly carry are the vaccination reports good enough or the rt pcr reports are also needed right so all of this again we have integrated as part of travel safe on uh, clear trip also so if people go into the travel safe they'll end to end understand that if you go into a city whether by rail road or uh, by flight you this is what you need to carry and uh, so that it's very seamless for consumers to um, be prepared before the, they go in but from a demand perspective i need to talk about it yes domestic air has taken a little bit of it international air has been anyway flat i mean a lot of countries have not been operating hotels have been going very strong in fact consumers who had booked international trips they are cancelling that and they are converting it to indian stay so overall i would say for incredible india uh, it's, it's 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 actually uh, doing a lot of good so when you look at the different sectors uh, at this point in time you have various options available on your platform your hotels you have uh, you know flight you have uh, you know road travel as well i uh, wanted to understand from your perspective which of these three sectors um, do you foresee uh, you know exceeding uh, growth expectations over the next 3 to 6 months uh, according to you what kind of uh, thought process do you have on this yeah um, firstly we believe hotels is going to uh, see like a never before come back um, people want to actually take vacation uh, there is this concept of revenge travel people are waiting to uh, go back and uh, start traveling so hotels is going to be the single largest industry which is going to see a very positive uplift 
The second is uh, going to be air as well. Um, because what we have seen also very clearly, just 30 days before, like I was talking about, people are not very scared of uh, traveling. So once this Omnicon thing maybe wanes off in the next few weeks, uh, I'm sure the travel will again bounce back on the domestic flights as well. So that's going to be the second option. Third, like you rightly pointed out on the cab uh, uh, as such, right? Um, so also what we are seeing and, and, and reading reports on and the uh, searches that are happening online and on ClearDrift is that uh, people want to actually venture out by driving their own cars instead of actually booking a cab and other places. So that is why hotel is seeing a very good uplift because people are choosing six to 12 hour drive from their respective uh, places and they are going there. So, and hence this is not going to directly convert to a cab booking per se for uh, the travel platforms like ours, but uh, this is going to have an indirect impact on the hotel as such. So to me, these two are very, very clearly going to stand out, hotel and domestic air. And international air, when once the restriction starts coming down, then it will start seeing a, a huge uplift. Uh, because we again saw that in the sector that it's open, it's running full. I mean, the flights are running full to all these international uh, destinations. So there is no debate on that. Maybe one more sector which is like taken um, a huge um, uplift in the last 12 months uh, is again alternate accommodation, which is like your... Um, the guest houses, right? The PGs. Uh, it's it's a lot more like in-house sort of concept where people want to stay for a longer duration, uh, unlike staying in a hotel for a three days or a five day or a seven day. So alternate accommodation is also taking a, a huge consumer uplift when it comes to the demand. So lastly, three are the these are the three or four buckets we see. It's going to see a huge uh, upturn. Right, uh, Ivan, I want to talk to you a little bit about what do we expect on Clear Trip going forward? Are there new categories that you're looking at launching uh, into in 22? Um, also, if you could tell us a little bit about uh, any new products and features uh, that could be introduced onto the platform. Yeah, uh, it's a little early about speaking exactly the same set of features. Maybe whenever we are launching, we'll be coming back to you. But uh, to your other question on um, what are the sectors or what are the segments that we want to launch apart from the existing air, uh, and the hotel, right? So we want to be an end-to-end -end destination when it comes to travel, right? And we are, we don't see ourselves just as a, a booking agent platform, but we want consumers to come and experience anything related to travel on ClearTrip as a platform. So for that to happen, we know that we need to start um, upfront in the discovery process when it comes to um, learning about the travel or what are the best places to visit, right? Where do I uh, make my honeymoon trip? Where do I make my college trip with my gang, right? So when it comes to anything, how do we become that discovery-led platform and not just a, I need to go from an A to B and can I use Clearter for booking my tickets? So that's the sort of a transition we want to look at in the next 12 to 18 months. Um, so for that to happen, we know very clearly that uh, it's not just about air and hotels, but we need to have every other modes of transportation as well when it comes to surface transportation, right? Um, it could be bus, it could be cabs, it could be train. Um, or uh, for that matter, uh, in future, right, when, when we could launch the experiences as well, it's not just the hotel booking, but it's the end-to-end -end, holiday package booking that we can offer to the consumers, uh, apart from the local activities that we can give as well. Clear Trip used to have that, and then we had to revamp it now, so uh, that's another piece we are uh, thinking about largely, um, because there are a lot of local places that people want to explore and experiment with, and that is something we want to go behind as well. And uh, we have cruises as well in the plan. So uh, if you look at it, we don't want to leave any part of the travel when it comes to um, Clear Trip as a brand we want to get associated with. Um, but more than that, what we want is not just the booking journey, but a step ahead of the booking journey itself when it comes to discovery. Right. You know, I also want to understand, Ayapan, uh, in terms of overall uh, growth plans, uh, you know, when we talk to uh, so many other travel portals out there, they've been betting big on acquisitions of inorganic growth to enter into new segments. So is ClearTip also exploring uh, inorganic opportunities uh, to enter into the segments that you spoke about? Yeah, we are always in the lookout for the right set of partners, um, when it, whether it comes to m as or whether it comes to partnership. Um, we are in touch with uh, several players in the space as well. Um, I'm sure in the next six to nine months, there are a lot of things, uh, a lot of exciting things that will happen in the travel when it comes to consolidation. Right. And the final question before I let you go in terms of investment, is there a ballpark in terms of what is the kind of investment that will be required to the business over the next six to eight months? Uh, any plans out there? 
So uh, the way we have prioritized for as a group, uh, right, when it comes to Flipkart, the way we are seeing is travel is one of the top three focused businesses for us. And uh, for that to happen, we believe the overall industry size is $55 billion, right? And uh, that's if you look at total retail as a space, that's right after grocery and fashion. So that's how we have prioritized travel as well. And uh, hence, we started with the acquisition on uh, Clear as well. So to, for us, this is one of the ways to enter aggressively into the market, into the travel as a market. But we are not going to stop with this. Um, what Whatever investment is needed to actually scale up this uh, and to ensure that it's not just the existing online space we want to garner share from, but uh, about converting the first time travelers, right, who has never tasted online, we want them to start shopping online. So for these two, whatever capabilities uh, are needed to be invested, whatever um, marketing dollars invested, uh, investment that would be needed. So on both fronts, we are willing to do that. All right, Ayapan, thank you very much for joining us today. It's always a pleasure speaking with you. Thanks for your time.